Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending this presentation. I am Janice Pleasure of Lands, and I will talk about the work that we are doing towards continuing con music, proposing new approaches in the computational analysis of Carnatic music, together with Thomas Nuttall and Professor Chever Serra from the Music Technology Group at the Universitat Pompeu Fabra. So the computational analysis of Carnatic music has been, and it is, a very active field of research. However, it is limited due to the shortage of available data in the literature and the underrepresentation of this tradition on diverse research events. So to address these issues and many more as well, of course, the music project uh, was, present, was uh, hosted and coordinated by the Music Technology Group until 2017. And it was actually presented here at FRSM in 2012. Uh, the aim of this project was to promote musical context aware technologies for every step in the research pipeline of music computing and computational musicology in order to contribute to a better understanding of diverse uh, traditions around the world through tailored um, computational approaches. Now, Carnatic music includes idiosyncratic structural features that benefit from tailored MI approaches as well. So to properly uh, contribute to the understanding of such tradition, we need to uh, produce bespoke technologies. And let me briefly uh, give a couple of melodic examples of that. So melodies in Carnatic music uh, comprise extensive oscillating ornaments that sometimes do not rest on the theoretical pitch positions, namely the svaras for Carnatic music. And then the same svaras are rendered uh, with different ornaments and sometimes merge between each, merge, merge between each other. Um, therefore, we cannot use the standardized tools in the literature that have been designed for uh, the mainstream systems of music for a tradition with such characteristics, uh, in this case, in this example, for uh, the matter of melody. So, uh, at this point, we want to remark that this presentation is a high-level overview of some of the ongoing work that we are doing towards tailoring state-of-the-art novel technologies at each step of the research pipeline of, com of computational musicology and music computing towards the tradition of Carnatic music. And we focus on uh, data set gathering and management, uh, enhancing the distribution of Carnatic of com music data sets and proposing our own collections of data we perform feature extraction to obtain relevant data for Carnatic music, such as vocal pitch extraction. Then we use these features for musicologically uh, meaningful tasks. And finally, we implement visualization and exploratory tools for our results. So in this presentation, we won't uh, deep dive into each of the contributions that we have done, but I give a, a brief overview on the work that we have done as part of this big piece of large project that we are uh, aiming at on tailoring these uh, novel technologies for the case of Carnatic music. So the ultimate goal of this uh, project is to ensure that the work carried out as part of the music project will continue to be developed within the um, communities of um, uh, computational musicology and music computing. Now, let's begin uh, talking about the improvements that we have performed on data set management. So properly distributing canonical version of data sets is crucial to make our uh, work, our research reliable and replicable for other uh, researchers. And there is a shortage of open, large and well notated data sets for the case of Carnatic music. So to address these issues, we contribute to MIR data, which is a high impact and novel software designed for Python that includes loaders for MIR data sets so that through MIR data, we can easily get access and interact with data sets with just a few, lines, a few lines of code, as you can see in this code snippet here at the right side of the screen. So we can enhance the distribution of the data set and promote the use of these data sets, the replicability and the reliability of the studies on such traditions. You can check in this link the loaders that we have written in MIR data so far. So, um, but we also compile our own data sets. We use uh, this Carnatic specific analysis synthesis framework that, it is, that we design to compile the Saraga vocal melody data set, which uh, includes Sara the Carnatic uh, mixes 
together with the vocal pitch annotated represented as uh, pitch tracks, which is a relevant data uh, for this tradition. Uh, we will talk about that in a few uh, minutes. And we, uh, lay, we recently have adapted this approach to generate also a singing voice source separation for Carnatic music. Right, let's now talk about the um, feature extraction that we performed to obtain relevant data for uh, Carnatic music computational approaches. And at this point is a, a good moment to remark that the, the vocal melody is a key aspect of Carnatic music and given the ornaments and details that we were mentioning in the introduction of this presentation, it is important to annotate these melodies using continuous uh, pitch tracks. And for that reason, we adapt and retrain the FTA net, which is a state-of-the-art uh, data-driven network to automatically extract the vocal melody pitch tracks from uh, mixtures. And I want you to focus on this last column of this big table, in which you have a comparison of our FTA net trained with our Carnatic dataset that we presented in the last section, and then the, FT, the baseline FTA net. And I want you to notice that for this testing data, for the Saraga vocal melody dataset uh, data, we obtain uh, high performance using our uh, adapted model, while this baseline um, FTA net is not able to obtain state-of-the-art results that it obtains for the standardized data sets in the literature of music information retrieval. And we also improve the performance of Melodia, which is a widely heuristic-based approach used to extract the vocal melody data set, the vocal melody pitch track, sorry, for, from mixes. And it is that is broadly used in the melodic analysis tasks in Canadian music. And we're also able to improve this uh, model. We perform a similar methodology for unit for a singing voice or separation, obtaining in this case an improvement of four dBs in the signal to distortion ratio. Which, for the ones that are not familiar with this um, with this task with source separation, this improvement is a notable and significant improvement for this task. Right. So let's now talk about the use of these features for musicologically uh, meaningful tasks for Carnatic music. And uh, we focus on repeated pattern recognition and we propose to use the matrix profile for that. So we apply the matrix profile to perform the cell similarity matrix over the pitch track of an entire Carnatic recording, pitch track that has been obtained using our, our models, uh, of course. And we identify the most relevant regions using this, this, this matrix profile algorithm. So we then take these relevant regions um, and we go along the entire recording, identifying regions that are similar to the ones that we have identified as interesting so that we can query, we can return, we can obtain groups of motifs along a certain particular uh, Carnatic recordings. And I want you to show an example of that. So here we have this plot x-axis is time, y-axis uh, represents the theoretical positions of the svaras of this particular raga. And we have superposed four motifs that are located in different places of a recording that have been identified by belonging to the same group. And, the, and here we have all, um, put all of them together for visualization. So let me play each of these four uh, motifs identified by our algorithm. Well, so you can see that even with these ornaments, even with the details, we achieve to group these motifs as belonging to the same group, which is one of the goals of this new approach that we propose. And let me also state that this particular motif is identified, is annotated by an expert in the Saraga Carnatic dataset as a relevant motif for this particular raga. So as we said at the beginning, we are aiming at a large, uh, at a long-term project, and we are uh, here uh, performing a, a, a high-level high overview of the work that we have done so far, but 
the future plans are also an important point to remark in this presentation. So for that reason, I'm going to briefly go through the most uh, the, uh, the, the upcoming plans that we have. So first of all, we will allow direct access to Comusic entire corpora uh, through mirror data as well. And we will collect expert annotated patterns to perform a more accurate uh, evaluation and also maybe perform fine tuning or, or retraining on, on data driven algorithms for pattern recognition. We will also explore additional relevant tasks to perform similar domain adaptation as we did for the singing voice extraction or the vocal pitch uh, extraction. And we also want to explore more informative melodic features, maybe ones that are more low level, but can also contribute to the musicologically meaningful tasks for Carnatic music. Then we also want to account for variable length instances in repeated pattern recognition, perform intracorpus exploration, looking for patterns in a group of recordings, and then include other features to the approaches. And finally, we want to build visualization and exploratory tools to interact with the obtained uh, results of this entire pipeline. We uh, want to talk uh, also about Carnatic Kit. We will compile our uh, tools and integrate all the tools that we have just presented in this toolkit, uh, which uh, will be growing a long time as, as, uh, as we keep uh, developing new tools for the computational analysis of Carnatic music. So we would like to invite you to follow the repo, keep up to date, and at some point contribute as well, uh, including your tools, methodologies uh, that are tailored to uh, the case of Carnatic music. So we would like to thank all the collaborators uh, of this project, the funding and also the FRSM organization, chairs, reviewers, and uh, the attendants to this talk. Thank you very much.